Yo, what is good peasants? My name is JB and I'm back here today for my team builder and battle video for week three or four. I don't know, man. Uh, BBR this week, we are taking on Trexo and his Indianapolis Cobalions. Go check him out in the description down below as well as all the other coaches. Uh, so I recently hit 300 subs. That's really cool. Thank you guys so much for that. This is my first like round of videos since hitting that. So I've actually, you know, gained a few more subs since then. So if you're new here, uh, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're going like crazy recently. So I'd really, you know, love to continue that streak so yeah if, you, if you're not subbed and you enjoy the content consider hitting the button it'd be really dope of you to do so now with that being said let's go ahead and go over my opponent's team um for those of you wondering about graphics and stuff like that uh the bells and whistles will be back next week for all the leagues i just got really lazy over thanksgiving and i just didn't feel like doing anything so i didn't do anything so yeah let's go ahead and uh look at the team that um my man has drafted so he has spectre tapu lele Thunder Styrian, Vaporeon, Incineroar, Drapion, Cradilly, Alolan Duck Trio, Graplocked, Unfezzed, and Whiskash. So, right off the bat, you see his top three mods are just incredibly threatening special attackers. Spectre, obviously, having the Grimnay ability, basically being special Moxie or Soul Heart, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, it's just incredibly uh, terrifying. Could uh, just win a game if you are not prepared for it and you let it, you know, start snowballing damage and boosts with, like I said, Grimnay getting, getting that special attack boost. Its coverage is bad, but. Um, if your opponent drafts well around um you know getting rid of darks and normal types then it's a bit of a problem and he, he did well with one of those things um being having top of to get rid of dark types but um you know bulky normals could be a little bit of a problem for the teams which uh, might be something we look to exploit but yeah lele uh in psychic train obviously hitting incredibly hard thankfully um it did not get expanding force so it's a little bit less scary but still a monster um Spec Psychic, Spec Psyshock is just very, very, very hard to switch into, along with Moonblast and Focus Blast coverage, as well as, you know, just stuff like Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Thunderbolt. It's really good coverage. It's a really hard hitting, decently fast Psychic type with even decent bulk as well. So, yeah, Lele is a monster. Nothing really much else to say there. Uh, Thunder Therian can set up with Nasty Plot, can also set up a bulk up, but uh, decent move pull, knockoff. Um, good coverage with stuff like Sludge Bomb, Grass Knot, Psychic. Uh, U turn, Volt Switch. Obviously, Electric moves out the ass. It's a really good Pokemon. Uh, Vaporeon, <coughs> really fat water absorb mod with um, wish pass, wish, wish pass shenanigans. Um, can also toxic and whatnot. Scald, ice beam, shadow ball. It's, blue pull is very shallow, but it's very, very annoying to kill. Uh, and Cinnabar, really, 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 really good defensive pivot with intimidate uh, and parting shot. Boots as well being a thing just makes this thing very, very annoying. Obviously, you can also spam knockoff with just stab and just yeah, it can also hit very, very hard. If you let it start setting up sword stances or bulk ups with like flame charge, maybe weakness policy, something like that. Very scary Pokemon. Uh, Drapion doubling up on dark types gives him a, uh, you know, grounded poison, T spikes user, another knockoff spammer. So, yeah, very bulky Pokemon as well. Cordilly, another uh, water immunity. So, this man was really scared of fish. Um, gets leech seed nowadays, which I didn't know wasn't a thing before, but I guess it's a thing now. I don't know. Um, gets stealth rock. Gets like. Giga Drain, rock coverage is decent. It's actually really bulky and like hard to kill, but it's also not the best. But you know, I could see a world where I lose through Cradilly and I'm the type of dude to just lose to a Pokemon like Cradilly and yeah, just have that be a thing that happens. Uh, so we'll see. Alolan Dougie, fast, Stealth Arc Setter, um, still type, it's okay. Very frail, but very fast, decently hard hitting, decent move pool. Uh, Grapplox, uh, it's Grapplox. Doesn't really get a lot of great moves, gets like Drain Punch, I think, maybe. Um, Octoluck is annoying if he wants to run it. Um, yeah, uh, it's a guy, I don't know what this thing does, but I am excited to play a Graplock, I guess. Unpleasant Trash and Whiskash, uh, clicks Dragon Dance. And if he brings Dragon Dance Bounce, he's a man. So, yeah, we're not even gonna talk about Unpheasant. Fuck that Pokemon. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and go over the team. First and foremost, making his debut, we have Fluffington. Our double with Cotton Guard, Body Press, Payback, and Rest. We have 108 HP, 156. Um, Fist Def and 244 uh, Spadef. The Spadef allows us to be two hit KO'd uh, by um, Choice Spec Psychic from Lele, which, yeah, we have to be that much Spadef to be two hit KO'd. Yeah, so we have to be very, very careful around Lele. However, if we are able to get up to plus six, we do two hit KO with Body Press, uh, max HP top of Lele, if for some reason he is that, but yeah, I. It, even up to max HP. If he's like Fizz stuff, then we don't do a KO, but I don't think he'll be Fizz stuff lately. That's not really a thing, but he might be. Who knows? 
Uh, payback is there just so we can hit Spectre because we will obviously be slower than that. We can just bop it with a payback and then rest. Uh, you know, we get burned and we get low and we want to rest back up and he can't really break us. He only has physical attackers left. Uh, really a no drawback move to click. So yeah, it looks pretty damn decent here. His, like I said, his only real way of um, dealing with this, like he doesn't, he doesn't have a fighting, he has a grapplex, which is an okay fighting type. Uh, and then the only thing that we're really super scared of is Lele or Nasty Plot Thunderous. So yeah, if we can get this set up, it's looking like a pretty decent Pokemon in this matchup. So we'll see if we can make uh, some double things happen. Next up, we have Zap Squatch, the Electivire coming once again with Life Orb. We have Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Earthquake, and Volt Switch. Max attack, max speed. Um, da -da -da -da, Jolly Nature. This is to speed tie with Drapion. I just wanted to you know, be able to speed tie with a Pokemon like that. Otherwise, I don't want to you know, be taking a knockoff, which does like 75% min, if not more. Because um, Electivire is really fucking weak, but it's really cool and I still love it. But like, goddamn, can it not take hits well at all? Uh, but yeah, just being able to speed tie with a Pokemon like that is nice. We can Volt Switch around on a lot of his team. Thunder Punch is also incredibly spammable against everything that isn't Thunderous, which we do a short load to with Ice Punch. And then Earthquake is just good coverage for stuff like Incineroar, Drapion, and uh, Dougie. So, yep, pretty straightforward. Next up, we got um, Galarian Zapdos with Brave Bird, uh, Thunderous Kick, Facade, and U-Turn. We're rocking a choice band with 140 attack, 148 speed up, and 212 or 220 speed. With a Jolly Nature, the speed lets us outspeed uh, the base 95 Pokemon, which is Drapion. The speed up lets us live a um, a non-boosting item Thunderbolt from Thunderous, so that's very appreciative. And we also live. Um, we're also, I believe, do, 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 I want to say three hit KO'd by non-spec Shadow Ball from Spectre. Probably two hit KO'd. Probably, probably let's just, you know, always be two hit KO'd. I don't remember that calc. Either way, um, Ray Bird and Thunder's Kick are so damn spammable. Thunderous is not a switch in. That's his flying resist. Um, so yeah, Ray Bird is incredibly spammable here. Um, Cradilly isn't a flying resist. Um, <laughs> it's not a flying resist. Dugtrio sure shit isn't. Uh, so yeah, he really doesn't have a flying resist outside of technically thunderous so yeah um that's it's not a resist uh thunderous kick is very nice to uh click versus stuff like incineroar drapion if we don't want to, and also if we just don't want to take recoil sod is there specifically for uh vaporeon if it wants to you know if we get skull burn and then you turn for momentum if he wants to you know bring in spectre on a uh, predicted thunderous kick or whatever so although nine times out of ten i'm clicking very this game but we'll see what ends up happening i'm honestly not that big of a fan of this pokemon and uh spoiler alert we do make quite a few changes after this game so We'll talk about those next week. I'll make you guys wait. That's what you call a tease. That makes you come back for the next video. But uh, next up, we have uh, I Wouldn't our Ferrothorn with uh, leftovers. We got Jarrow Ball, Knockoff, Power Whip, and Stealth Rock, 172 HP, 84 Fizz Duff, and um, Max Spideff with a Sassy Nature. Um, I'm going to be real with you, Chiefs. I have no fucking clue what the CV spread does, but I assume it does something important. I believe it lets us be um, 2 KO'd by Specs Focus Boss from Lily. I think that's what it is. And then uh, Jarball also guaranteed kills Lele. I think that's... I mean, I know Jarball okos Lele. I know that for a fact because I made sure uh, it did. I just have no clue what the um, Fizz stuff and Spideff is specifically for in the HP. I, I don't know what the specific numbers do, so I'm not going to pretend like I do because I made this thing a long time ago. Um, next up, we got Sail the Lappers with Boots. We got Water Absorb, of course, with Freeze Dry, Surf, Toxic, and Iron Head. Pretty funky EV spread. 68 attack. 116 um, Fizz Duff. Four Spadef, no, four Spatak, 196 Spadef, and 124 speed with a sassy nature. So this speed lets us outspeed um, Vaporeon with uh, our, you know, obviously negative or minus speed nature. I believe it also, I want to say outspeed, is it Incineroar base 65? I think it also outspeeds Incineroar. If it doesn't, I'm 90% sure Incineroar is base 65. So I think we also outspeed that. Whatever his base 65 is, that's what we outspeed. I don't fucking remember, dude. Uh, but uh, Iron Head with our attack investment to it, KO's non, uh, just completely offensive Lele. Um, toxic, obviously, for Vaporeon, so we can put that thing on a timer. Freeze Drive for, you know, just general stab. And yeah, live Vaporeon and then Surf for Water Stab because this thing doesn't get scalded. So, yep, that's the Lapras. I'm actually really enjoying using this Pokemon, so it makes a lot of sense that it would come here. And then last but certainly not least, least we have a Choice Scarf as Elf. There was not a good um, fourth or sixth member to bring on this team, so we just slapped an Azelf on with good coverage for everything. So we have Knockoff, Iron Tail, Drain Punch, and a U-Turn. Max Attack, Adamant with 44 speed F and 212 speed. 
The speed is for um, the uh, da, 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 da. Thunderous, which we can't really touch. Um, we also don't have Zen Headbutt on the set, which, spoiler alert, is going to be really fucking dumb of me. But we'll talk about that. You guys will see that here in a couple minutes. Um, but yeah, dude, uh, knockoff spam looks really solid for obviously being able to hit Spectre, uh, which we will also outspeed that, which is nice. Um, if he's, you know, not scarfed himself, which please, um, <laughs> I would tell, uh, Oko's Lele, which is nice drain punch for a little bit of recovery. Also being able to hit the Incineroar as well as the Dug trio, as well as, you know, just being good against good neutral coverage against a lot of his team and then you turn for momentum pretty self-explanatory. And with all of that being said, I am going to go ahead and head on out. I'll let you guys enjoy the battle right about now. Oh, snap, crackle, and pop. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what was that? I, I, don't, I don't know what that was. But anyway, I'm back with a battle versus uh, Trexo, Jake. I'm not sure what he goes by on the internet. His Discord is Jake. I think his YouTube is Trexo. Um... Indianapolis Cabalions, I know that much. So, back with the game. Uh, so press A, the starting signal already. So, I'm just waiting for that damn signal to come through. I don't know. There we go. All right. So, <clears throat> we see the Spectre, Lele. Um, oh, my God. Is that a Graplox? Holy shit. <laughs> uh, Marowak, Incineroar, and the Drapion is the name of that Pokemon. So, uh, we do see double dark, which is a little bit annoying for Azelf, but we'll make it work. No Whiskash is, I guess, just kind of disrespectful. No Berserker, no Cordilli, no Vaporeon, and no Thundee. So, um, looking at this man's team, if we get rid of Spectre, I literally 6-0 with double. I'm going to need Lele weakened as well, but uh, we should be able to do that. Uh, I'm going to lead off with Buddy, because if he leads Lele, I'm clicking Iron Tail turn one. No fucks given. Zap Squatch also looks really solid here, so... I think we have a decent matchup here. Hit him with the... Hit him with a GLHF. Oh, fuck. I told him good luck. Oh, no. Oh, no. I fucked up. <laughs> Battle hasn't even started. And I've already misplayed. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That That's a... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Never wish your opponents good luck, man. Never. Oh, shit. I did it to myself, though. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Misplay on turn zero? You bet your ass, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Pre-game misplays, boys. <laughs> but nah, uh, go check this dude out. He's pretty nice. Um, really no trouble at all uh, connecting and stuff like that, so. Big shoutouts to the homie. He's new at Wi-Fi too, so. Um, definitely respect being able to just get in and get shit done on land timer. So he does lead off with one of his dark types, which, you know, he had a one-third chance at doing so so kind of glad that ah uh, yeah we got that out of the way early we're gonna hit a u-turn out that actually did a decent amount that probably just looks like max hp damage though so it's probably gonna go for a knockoff which is annoying um i probably don't need leftovers this game i mean they're nice actually i don't want to lose my band yet either I guess we could just go into Zappingtons. Why not? And by Zappingtons, I mean Electivire, not um, the other thing. Not zap this. He's gonna go for a U turn. Okay, that works. Ow! What the fuck? Alright, bro. That's offensive. I see you, homie. That did a lot of damage. That, I don't think that's banded. That might be banded, actually. If it is banded, it's Jolly Band. He does go into the Marowak. Okay. Um, that did. So that did forty-three percent. Okay, that's not even. Yeah, that's not banded. That's just. I think it's just adamant damage. Yeah, it's just adamant damage. Okay. Not even fully attack invested. It's just Electivar is a weak ass bitch. <laughs> we can get in, I wouldn't here. God damn though. I was like, which thing do I, I don't know if I live in the, I, I almost died with Knock. <laughs> that was a good question. You did not just go for curse. Oh shit. 
I'm about to get six owed. <laughs> oh shit, I'm about to get bodied, boys. Marowak. Plus one defense. To save max HP. Okay, we're still doing like a solid chonker with Power Whip. Oh shit, Fire Punch. I forgot this thing actually gets attacks. I hate it here. I fucking hate it here, boys. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, this could be really bad. <laughs> oh no, this could be really, really bad. I'm about to get dropped by this. Okay, he only has Earthquake, thank Christ. It's still gonna do a lot, but... God damn. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We have to think, we have to think. Um... <laughs> Alright, so we do have two Earthquake immunities. We have uh, Buddy and uh, Meep Meep. If we go into Zapdos... <laughs> Bro, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm fucking shooketh. I don't think he clicks anything other than um, Earthquake here. Actually, he can very well go for a cover too. It's just will he. If he goes for Fire Punch, do I die? Do I just straight up fucking die? Nah, I'll live with Fire If he had Fire Punch, he would have clicked it. If he has Thunder Punch... Might be GG. He just goes for Stealth Art. Good play, good play. I respect it. Rocks on the Switch. So he's Curse, Rocks, Earthquake. Um, what's his Brave Red switch in? Doesn't fucking have one. Okay, cool. Good to know. This choice ban Brave Bird. <laughs> Yo, this Marowak fucked me up. Oh my god. But this should literally claim a kill, right? Is there anything this doesn't just Oko? Like, maybe Incineroar? Yeah, Incineroar is not taking two. Incineroar is not taking two from choice ban. Not a chance. So I'm pretty sure I just force a kill here. This should drop consi uh, considering how much uh, the, the, the power hook did. So yeah, it does drop. Big price. <laughs> Dude, I was scared. I was scared. High key. That was fucking terrifying. All right. So he's going to get to go into the probably Lele here. If he's if he's Lele, if he's choice card, he goes Lele. Uh, he could also go Spectre. If he goes Spectre, I'm fucking Bray Birding it. Because I think I live one Shadow Ball from this range. Shadow Ball. Max Special Attack. We'll just say he's modest. Plus one. It's gonna be close. Depends on what percentage I'm at. The 69, nice, to 82. He does go into it. I am at 138. Okay. I live, always. I'm at 84%, he does 82 max if he's modest specs. So, we brave bird the fuck out of this thing. Modest specs never kills, I'll take, I'll, I'll trade. I'll gladly take this trade. There's a shadow ball, modest specs does not kill. He's gonna have to crit me. He did not crit me, thank Christ. And I will gladly take this trade. Oh dude, that sucks. I'm gonna die to recoil. <laughs> I did the Defiant Boost. Oh well, I mean at least, we, at least we got a Defiant Boost. Nice. We'll take that trade. Take that trade 10 times out of 10. Alright, so Spectre goes down, which is um looking very clean for this guy. We just need Lele a little bit weakened, so we go into uh Azelf here. And just U-turn out unless he goes Lele. If he goes Lele, I'm clicking I tell 100 percent He goes into Mysterious. Alright. Um So this thing is still a problem. <laughs> this thing is definitely still a problem. Just U-turn again though. Yoink. I think I might sack Evire here. It's not a play I want to make, but actually I'll just sack I wouldn't. 
yeah, I, I, it's not looting a hit from Lele. It was really only designed to do that and take on the uh, thing he did bring. Thunderous. Slash Vaporeon. So, yeah. I'll take that little bit of uh, Iron Barb ship too on his way out. Oh, he's protective pads. Nice. I like it. I like that a lot. Well done. I've been looking for an excuse to bring that item for, for like years it feels like and I've just never had it because the way it's written you would think it protects against Jirachi but it doesn't like it should it absolutely should work like that like prevent um secondary effects but only for it protects the user from secondary effects not from you know yeah I don't know it the way the way it is it works weird goes into Khabib which is this thing okay well, that would be a really good time to reveal a psychic move if I fucking had one or my bird. I guess we're just going to this guy. Oh, fuck. Um, Thunder Punch is doing a lot. Thunder Punch does like 40% if he's, and this is like a very bulky set on showdown, so. That's some clean damage, bro. He's gonna go for a pup. Okay. I'm cool with that. As long as I live, which I do not. God damn it. Electivire sucks, bro. I love that Pokemon so much, but god damn is it ass. Alright. Do, 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 as elf. Okay. It's no bueno. He's no bueno. Look, he doesn't know I don't have a psychic move, alright? <laughs> he doesn't know I don't have a psychic move, okay? Okay? Okay, he doesn't know. What Scotty doesn't know won't hurt him. Scotty doesn't know. Sorry. He has sucker. God damn it. Alright, we might be fucked. We might have just lost to a grab loss. <laughs> oh no. <-y. laughs> oh no, -y, boys. Okay. Alright, this is we're getting to the thick of this now. Okay, this this is scary. This is scary. Alright. Um Lapras should be still be able to do stuff. We have to go straight for Cotton Guard though. There's no way to play. We just have to start doing the thing. He's gonna go for Drain Punch, which shouldn't do shit. He crit me. Are you fucking kidding me? I HATE IT HERE! <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> and this is why you don't wish your opponents good luck, people. Fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> well, GG to my dude, uh, Trek, so he beat the ever living fuck out of me, and I deserve it. Um, <laughs> it's what you get for wishing your opponents good luck, man. I just got fucking four kills dropped on me by a goddamn grab locked. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Um, yeah, I, I don't. Okay, obviously not having a second move on Azulf was a mistake, but he had Sucker Punch, so it didn't even really matter. Um, Electivire not being able to live shit from shit just pisses me off. Like, Electivire sucks. I love Electivire to death, but holy fuck, is it bad. Um, yeah, dude, he just he just outplayed me. He just outprepped me, dude. Um, fucking 
power up punch grab block bro that thing put in work man i can't say shit um i got bodied and i deserve to get bodied that's what i get for wishing my man's good luck before the battle even started it was a misplay on turn zero but <laughs> now nah, nonetheless go check out trex always a good dude um yeah i got, I got nothing for that man thanks again thank you guys so much for watching see y'all next week peace